In early July of 2015, the Connecticut Community College's MyComNet portal website will be getting a new look and feel. The revisions were based to a large degree on user feedback with an eye toward making navigation easier and important information more accessible. This video will show students, faculty, and staff how to navigate MyComNet and access the applications and information you will find there. If you are brand new to the MyComNet portal, click New User Information for a brief overview of what you'll find once you log in. An example of the Net ID format for students is displayed in light gray in the login field. If you are a new faculty or staff member, click the Faculty Staff Net ID format link to see what your login information should look like. If you're not sure of your Net ID or password, there are links to help you look them up. System status information will alert you about any planned maintenance or current outages. Once you log into MyComNet, the home page displays announcements from any college you attend. Information in the portal pages is organized in small boxes called portlets. Home page portlets include links and information related to your college email, the Blackboard Learning Management System, banner self-service, and more. At the top right of the screen, note the icons which also launch email, Blackboard, and banner self-service. Navigate to other pages in MyComNet by clicking the tabs at the top. Users will see different tabs depending upon their role. For example, students see a My Student Info tab, while faculty and employees see information tabs relevant to them. Note that the home page includes links to frequently asked questions about Blackboard and banner self-service. The Student, Faculty, and Employee Information tabs contain additional targeted FAQ links. If you are a student and click either the email icon or the login link in the Access Your College email portlet, you will be prompted to log in a second time. Use the same credentials you used to log into MyComNet. This will take you to your student email account, where all official college information is sent. There is also a link to instructions on how to forward this email to a personal account, if you wish. If you are faculty or staff, you will see slightly different information in the college email portlet. When you access your email, you will automatically be signed into your college Outlook Web Access email account, which opens in a new tab or window. Clicking the Blackboard link or icon will launch a new tab or window. There, you'll see a list of all the courses you're taking or teaching. Instructors can upload course content into Blackboard that students can access 24-7. If you're a student and you're going to take a time test or exam online, we strongly recommend that you first close the MyComNet browser session. This prevents any MyComNet timeout messages from interfering with your Blackboard quiz or test. The Banner Student and Faculty Self-Service System has also undergone a significant makeover. Unlike Blackboard or email, which open in a new browser tab or window, Banner Self-Service displays right inside the MyComNet web page. If you attend or teach at just one college, you will see a list of menu buttons. You can scroll from right to left to view all of the buttons, which now includes some descriptive information. Clicking a button reveals a menu, and some menu options include additional submenus. If you have ever attended or taught at more than one community college, you will first need to select the college you wish to view records for. Thank you for viewing this MyComNet tour. We hope these updates will provide an improved user experience for all community college students, faculty, and staff.